Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hey YouTube, welcome back, Leo Pozzo, you know what it is, thanks very much for tuning in guys, and thank you very much for all my new subscribers, if you guys haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe now, and for all of you guys that have subscribed already, thank you very much, definitely appreciate it, the channel's growing. So to start off this video, season 1, episode 4 of the coral reef documentary of my 75 gallon to my 125 gallon coral reef fish tank, where I am today guys. We're going to jump right along here and show you what we have planned for the 75 gallon. Our 75 gallon coral reef fish tank is now going to be turned into this 125 gallon coral reef fish tank built into the wall and my new house into the basement. And you can see here we're working on all the framing stud work and stand and whatnot, the wall itself, the partition, along with all the electrical that needs to be done as well. So come along with me guys and I'm going to show you along the process of what it took to bring my 75 gallon tank that was built onto the stand, built into the wall now where I am today in 2015. And I'm going to bring you along the way and what it took me to get me here. What you're looking at in this video clip is some of the framing stud work along with the stand and as well as some of the electrical plugs and switches that we ran for the tank. What you're looking at in this video clip is the 125 gallon tank now installed in the wall along with some of the plumbing as well inside the overflow box. We have an inch and a half drain line, two of those on each side of the overflow box along with two one inch PVC return lines that are coming from our pump that is down here located beside our sump. This return pump is an external return pump and it's going to be sucking water from our sump filtration system and going to be pushing water back inside the tank. This small 10 gallon tank here is going to be our refugium which I drilled a hole in it which is going to be draining back inside our sump. So what I've done here we ran the plumbing from our drain from our main display tank we teed it off inside the refugium it's going to go inside the refugium in that 10 gallon tank and then drain back inside our sump at our first chamber. So what we have to do here is just finish up installing this external return pump and finish off all the plumbing that we need to get installed. And we'll, we'll be right on our way emptying out the 75 gallon tank back, back at my other house and we'll be transporting all the livestock along with all the fish, live rock and coral and water, everything over to the new t house and setup. And we'll be setting that up in this video. Alright guys, well here we are back at the 75 gallon tank at my original house here and we're going to be moving the 75 gallon right now. We're going to be emptying it all out, taking out all the livestock out of it, taking out all the equipment and we're going to be transferring it over right to the new location. <laughs> So 
So guys, what you're seeing in this video clip is pretty straightforward. What we've done here is we emptied out, siphoned out approximately half the amount of water out of the tank into these Rubbermaid containers. From there, we're placing all the fish and coral inside these containers and we're going to be draining out all the water once that's all complete. We're going to be saving all the water. We're going to be transporting that to the new location. We'll be mixing up new salt water at the new location because again, this is a 75 gallon tank and then we have 125 gallon tank and we're going to be using the same sump so again we're going to have some new water to mix up and saving all this water is very important so come along with me guys this tank is now all finished and we're going to be transporting it all into the 125 gallon tank Well guys, here we are at the new location with the 125 gallon coral reef tank built into the wall and uh, we're ready to start loading up all this livestock from the 75 gallon into the 125 gallon. It's all plumbed up, all the electrical is all complete and we're pretty much ready to rock to start putting in all this livestock. Well guys, you can see here that the 125 gallons are both three quarter way full. We got some of the live rock back in place along with the corals and fish and we're just uh, trying to wrap up finishing placing all the rest of the corals in place as it's very difficult to tell and hard to place here from behind the tank and just looking from up above. But with some great help from a friend, uh, we got this all sorted out with some communication from the front and from the back here and uh, where we're going to place these guys. It's a little bit foggy and we're not going to be able to see inside uh, the tank that wall right now as you can see it's very cloudy we stirred everything up which is quite normal don't worry about it uh, the fish and coral will uh, make it through this and I guarantee you by the next uh, day or two it'll be uh, much clearer the water and back to normal so guys uh, with some help like I said from a friend of mine we're trying to coordinate uh, where we can place these corals where they're laying here inside the tank you can't really see too well but we're trying back and forth here to uh, communicate with each other and try to help each other place them in the right location. Well guys, it looks like we're pretty much wrapped up for the 125 gallon coral reef fish tank built into the wall. We're almost done placing all the live rock and fish and coral back in the tank along with the water and we're about ready to hit the switches for the electrical that we just finished doing and running a good thorough test of all the plumbing guys that we just finished installing as well and get the water cycling through our sump filtration system. You can see here is the T5 lighting that I'm temporarily using right now that I had over my 75 gallon. So uh, we'll be doing some more updates on that, what I do for lighting shortly guys. But again, thanks very much for watching. Leo Potzel, that's the channel. Go ahead and subscribe guys if you haven't subscribed already. And if you have, thank you very much. I know you guys are definitely gonna be impressed with the channel. There's always new stuff coming out weekly guys. So there it is, it's the Season 1, Episode 4 of the documentary of the 75 gallon to the 125 gallon coral reef fish tank built into the wall to where I am today guys. So definitely stay tuned to the next episode and if you haven't watched the previous episodes, go ahead and watch those episodes right now. Talk to you guys soon, till next time.